Yeah, I know I'm looking rough. You ain't even gotta tell me. Gotta get a shape up. I'll do it when I'm ready. Oh yeah, we right back up out of there. I'm talking about this shit could take like 20 minutes. I'm not finna sit and wait around for that. <laughs> Wasting my time, I could be making some more money. I'm not finna wait no 20 minutes for your pizza. Now, why would somebody leave this here? Did they like just buy it and then get to the car and was like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then decided, eh, I changed my mind. I don't want it anymore. It, that looks like the way that it was laid out, it looks like it was laid out like that way on purpose. Tell me about this dude. I, I dropped off his order and like 10 minutes later, he hit me up. He hit me back up talking about, uh, it was like, man, they got everything wrong. All the, uh, everything that I was supposed to have is like swapped out for something else. And uh, this was supposed to be that way. And that was supposed to be this way. And da 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 da. I'm looking at the text like, okay. Like, what do you want me to do about it? That's out of my hands. I ain't got no control over that. You'll have to contact uh, customer service or the restaurant or something. But the way that he was talking in the text was giving off the vibe of like, like he wanted me to come to him and then pick up his food, take it back to the restaurant, tell them to change the order and then bring it back to him or something. He didn't say that, but the way he was talking, he was giving off them type of vibes for sure. And you got me fucked up. After I told him, hit up customer service and all that, um, it's out of my hands. There's, no, there's nothing I can do about that. It's out of my control. He hit me back up talking about, oh, um, you could at least check the bag. I do not check bags. I'm sorry, I just don't. I'm not one of those. I don't check the bag. I don't feel comfortable going to other people's bags, so I don't. I just take I, I take the bag, put it in the seat, and drop it off. And uh, shit, some, some restaurants, they be uh, closing the bag and like putting tape on it uh, so people won't go inside of the bag as if, I mean, as if somebody couldn't get in the bag if they really wanted to. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I don't think we're really supposed to be going in bags anyway to be checking on this and that. I'm not fin to uh, whatever, whatever end up in there. Whatever's in there is just in there, sorry. All right, we are now headed into Kroger. Am I like the only one that thinks that Kroger just gives me like old vibes, like retro vibes. All right, here we go. Feel like we're gonna get some bacon. If y'all don't know, bacon is like one of the most best tasting things on earth to me. I come get one of these every day. I'm glad I hit this little out. Biggity bussin. Biggity bussin. End of discussion. Driving through these mountains. I done came through these mountains hundreds of times. Probably literally. Like I've been doing these driving jobs for a while now. Like a few years now. Okay, so I can't be the only one who thinks this, right? Like, Doritos chips would be top tier if they learned how to season their chips consistently throughout the whole bag. Like, Ranch Doritos, busting when you get a good bag, though. Like, most of the time, nine times out of 10, you get a bag, it's, it's, it's a miss, it's a miss. Like, I was, I was buying Doritos, like, years ago, like, consistently. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a chip person. Like, that's my cheek snack. You know what I'm saying? I love I love chips. But then, like, they started, they just started slacking. And it's like you buy Doritos and you basically just getting regular tortilla chips. And I, I don't want plain tortilla chips. Like, I didn't ask for that. I asked for some flaming Hot Doritos. I asked for some Ranch Doritos. I asked for some uh, Hot Ranch Doritos. Not tortilla chips. You know what else I hate right now? I hate that this whole daylight saving time thing is finna be over. Like, I like when it's sunny later in the day. 
Like being pitch black dark at five o'clock in the afternoon is ridiculous. That's stupid. That's not it's that's not nighttime. Five o'clock is afternoon time and it shouldn't be getting dark until around seven at all. He get my curly girl. He get my curly girl. He get my curly girl. That get my curly girl. He get my curly. Okay. All right, D. Daddy. All right, D. Daddy. I love you too.